this is Steve Kim from Snack.com and the Three Knockdown Rule, and you're locked into Come Box with Chan with Lady Chan. Hey guys, hey guys. Incoming run, in boots. Listen, Jerome Boots and this, he ain't shit. Jerome Boots and this, thank you. You're going to make me go live later on today. We're going to have to have a little talk, mi hermano. Um, listen. Hector got, I mean, uh, Jerron Boot Ennis fought a guy called Karen, man, uh, what was his name? Chukazanya or something like that. Chukazan or just as called him Karen. I will look at the name and I've been saying it all night, but it's not an, it's not an easy surname. So it will leave the boot, is it? Listen, Jerron Boot Ennis is deemed as a five-star fighter. He's supposed to be a hell of a fighter. And uh, Kareen is a two-star fighter. Supposedly not a hell of a fighter. But um, uh, boy, did it go to a fucking point decision. That is crazy. He won. Uh, he lost. No, hold on. He won. Because <laughs> I'm getting confused now with Rashidi. Another story. Fucking hell. Um, he won by um, a unanimous decision. And for me, it, it probably should have, could have been a draw. Uh, he, well, you know, he etched it. I mean, he did etch it, but um, I don't know. It's uh, it, it, Listen, you're not supposed to be going the distance with a two-star fighter. I want to hear that Terence Bud Crawford is scared of no boots and this. In the boot, is it? Which Ennis is definitely overrated now that I've seen this whole card. A lot of you motherfuckers are overrated. Your overration has entered the boot, is it? Which Ennis then had the fucking cheek, the gore, the guff. Listen, let me just tell you about this fight. Shouts out to Kareem. <laughs> because if you was underdog of the decade, you... I put you as underdog of the century. This, I don't care if, if Boots won. This was an upset. I don't know if Boots saw this geezer on the cart stand and thought, this is who I've got to fight. This guy's a two-star fighter and I'm a hell of a fighter, so I won't even bother training. Boots looked tired. By the time he got to, I think about, he started off not breaking the sweat. Like, oh, this is easy. I thought this dude was going to be out in four rounds. Um, <sighs> boy, was I. Kareem, Karen, whatever you pronounce it, um, started to catch Boots flush. Boots is always one of those geezers that, you know, he ta he takes, he eats quite a lot of punches. Um, and, and I've always said that. I was never on the bo Boots choo-choo, but I think he was a good prospect. Um, but at the minute, um, I'm not on that hype train of Boots. This totally let me know where Boots is. Don't care if it's a bad day at the office. There's no way, no hell and high water that you're supposed to be going to the distance. This guy broke Jerome Boots Ennis's knockout spree. Okay, como? Terence Bud Crawford, not on your Nelly, is fucking scared of no Jerome Boots Ennis. Stop. Jerome Boots Ennis needs to go back to the boot. Um, and, 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 and think about being more sound. Meaning the knockout spree's over. Yeah, yeah. The exposition is in the boot, is it? Uh, didn't know how to cut off the ring. Tried, but you know what? Let me just tell you about Kareem. Hell of a beard. Hell of a beard. Jerome was hitting him with every shot that he could hit him with. And it didn't work. He wasn't budging. You know, first couple of rounds, he had some shots to the body. But guess what? Guess what my guy started to do? He started to piece up Boots. Jerron looked at him like, you're still in the boot, is he? Like, he was catching Boots. Fliggity flush. Yeah? Boots was swinging, flailing. It started to it started to look really messy, embarrassing, and he was unravelling. I don't know how the judges scored it. What? 120 to 108? Those, that, those judges had... Pure lies in the boot, dizzy. I can say that Jerron Boots Ennis looked totally embarrassed uh, by getting outdone and being brought to the distance by a two-star fighter. Jerron Boots Ennis is not a five-star fighter. 
3.5 right now. Three. Fuck it. A three. <laughs> or maybe Kareem isn't a two star fighter. And maybe he's a three star fighter. A three. Like, he was very quirky, unorthodox, slippery. He frustrated boots. He caught boots. He would pivot back and literally catch boots flush with hooks, whipping boots his face. Like, them right. You hear that? I like that picture. Hmm. Every way in the boot. Then after the fight had finished, I couldn't believe after round four. Please go and check out my live watch along for all my live reactions. My my voice was up there. It was it was sky high in the boot. I predicted that this guy would be out in four rounds. When I saw he was in round five, six, seven, eight, oh, my head was spinning in the boot. Boxing, but I was totally gobsmacked. I was smacked, gobbed in the booty. Boxing, you, fa you don't fail to or cease to amaze us. Everybody talking about this guy, Jerome Boots Ennis. Uh, I don't want to hear it. Don't, don't, don't come to me with it because I know better. And this card exposed a lot of mofos. Andrade, yeah, that looked awful as well. I ain't even doing a report. Who cares? Spence, take the fight. Errol Spence, please take the fight and just wash Boots Ennis. <laughs> Out of the boot, is in. He had the fucking cheat, the gall, the gusto, the audacity to then call out Errol Spence, Bud Crawford, the winner of uh, uh, Virgil Ortiz and Stanny Onis. <laughs> they all wash you in the boot, is in. They wash you out of the boot, is in. Your soul will be looking down maybe at this point. But you know he does got a beard, I give it and it's this. But maybe, maybe, you may be looking down <sighs> from the boot, is in. Hallelujah. Jeez. He then had the guts, the gall, the gusto, and again, sheer audacity to talk about when he was asked, you know, wow, you went like the distance. He was like, yeah, I needed to get the fight, to get the rounds in, you know, and um, I was really strong in there. Where? Que como cuando donde? The lies were in the boot, Because he was embarrassed that Karen was still in the Buddhism and you couldn't get him out of the Buddhism. Shame and embarrassment entered the Buddhism. Never. En el edificio. Then his, uh, you know, the trainer and then they had the gall, the gusto, the cheek, the damn audacity to say that Kareem ran. How did he run? How did he run when he was fucking landing? <sighs> landing religiously. Like, I didn't even have you having it like that you was thrashing him. I'm sorry, I didn't. That geezer gave him a motherfuck... Someone that ran, why didn't... Why? And you chased him then, You because you don't know how to cut off the ring. If he ran, uh, why didn't you catch up and knock his ass out of the booties? Because the guy didn't run. Remove it either. I mean, he, he dipped back in there, but he was just quirky. But when, when, when Boots started to flail and swoop and swoop, yeah, Kareem did what, was, what he was supposed to do. He ducked. That's not running, he ducked. <laughs> what I'm saying is, just to say this, like, Kareem isn't a great fighter. He just isn't good. So if you've gone the distance with someone that you are definitely supposed to have knocked out, then how good are you? So... The hype train choo -choo, is over for Ellis, Ennis, and, um, you know, you've been Edgar Belangard in the booty. So I will be going live a little later. <laughs> He's inspired me because I still need to slew. I need to slew live. I need to speak about this. Uh, yeah. So anyway, Jerron Boots Ennis beats Karim don't know his surname at the minute but it will be on the obviously on the caption in a unanimous points decision against a two-star fighter <laughs> anyway i'm gone because otherwise i'll be ranting a plenty hey girl it's leo dishan written on let's come box with shan Gyan, ra, ra man like a two-star fighter like brought him to a points decision the hype train is it, the choo-choo's out.
There's no more choo choo. There's no more hype. Exposation is in the building. <laughs> Cut! <laughs>